If you've been around Lake Erie in the early spring, you've seen midges, the tiny little insects who appear in swarms by the thousands near water. They can cover your car, your house, and you in a matter of seconds. While they don't bite or spread disease, their sheer numbers can make you go a little crazy, as evidenced in 2007 when they helped the Cleveland Indians win an American League playoff game by driving then-Yankees pitcher Joba Chamberlain into an irritated frenzy on the mound. Everyone seems to have a different nickname for them, depending on who you ask and the area you're from. They can be known as non-biting midges, lake flies, sand flies, bay flies, muckleheads, muffleheads, Canadian soldiers, American soldiers, blind mosquitoes, or chizzy winks. But what are these things really? Officially known as Coronimus plumosus, these little guys live most of their lives in a larval state in our standing waters. To learn more, we turn to Metro Parks naturalist and all-around nice guy, Marty Calabrese. So the life cycle of a midge is a little unusual. The adults just live three, four, maybe five days. Midges have a very short life cycle. Without the ability to eat, as this variety of midge has no mouth, they have a simple course in life, mate before you die. That's where the swarm comes in. It's magic. When midges swarm, you're gonna see these big clouds of mating. It's a frenzy to reproduce. This is what they're designed to do as adults. The female's gonna lay her eggs on water, on the surface of water. They're gonna drop into water, sink, and they could spend the whole winter there. Larvae develop into these sub-adult nymphs, and those nymphs emerge from the surface of the water into adults. So without getting too deep about it, why are they here? Do they serve some purpose? They serve strong ecological roles. As far as food is concerned, they're transferring energy. This is radical. They're transferring energy from the water across a border to land. Fish like trout can eat them. Right? Birds like swallows and martens. Other insects can eat them like dragonflies. From a human health uh, perspective, they are not carriers of disease, so it's, it's okay. It's okay, just en enjoy the uh, Enjoy the, the, uh, the midge orgy. Ah, enjoy the midge orgy. That's the same thing my grandmother told me as a child. So if you're by the water and you find yourself in the middle of a bunch of crazed midges, take a moment to appreciate the circle of life. Until one flies into your ear, because that's the worst.